Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming by the Numbers, the show where we use math to solve all of our gaming curiosities. Today we're going to go over a question I thought ever since I was a little kid collecting Pokemon cards. How many packs do I need to open to collect one of everything? And with the new core set coming out from Magic the Gathering, I believe this is the perfect time to answer this question. In order to figure this out, we're going to be using two functions. One is expected value and the other comes from the coupon collector problem. But we'll go more on that later. Core 2019 is the first core set since Magic Origins, which was released back in 2015. It will include 280 cards that are available in packs. There will be 20 land cards, 111 commons, 80 uncommons, 53 rares, and 16 mythic rares. Pack distribution will be the same as it has been in prior expansions, with each pack containing 10 commons, 3 uncommons, 1 rare, 1 land, and 1 promo or token card. There is also a 1 8th chance of a mythic replacing the rare, and a 1 6th chance of a random foil replacing a common. With Mythic Rares being the rarest cards, we're going to see how many packs it's going to take to collect all of them. And then once we find out this number, we're going to go back to the other rarities to make sure that we collect those as well. So earlier we talked about our math functions, and now we're going to go over the easiest of the two, which is expected value, which is basically just the average outcome over multiple trials. The formula for this equation is expected value equals probability times number of trials. For example, if we have four coins, how many heads would we get on average? Well, if we plug in 4 for n and 1 half for p, we get 2 heads. So next up is the coupon collector problem, and this is going to be a little more difficult. The problem describes the collect all coupons and win contest, where each coupon has the same probability of showing up. So let's do an example of trying to collect 3 coupons, and the easiest way to do this is to break it up into stages, where each stage is where we collect a new coupon. Stage 1 is easy because we haven't collected any yet, so it will only take one trial to collect a new coupon. Stage 2, we now have a two-thirds chance of getting a new coupon, so we will now use expected value to see how many times on average it will take to get a new coupon. Since we are only looking for one new coupon, we can plug one in for the expected value, and we know the probability of getting a new coupon is now two-thirds, so we now we could use this to find n. So on average, it will take about one and a half times to collect the second coupon. Now we will do the same thing for stage 3, changing our probability to one-third since there is only one new coupon left, and get an n of 3. Add these together and we get 5.5. So this means that on average we'll get 5 or 6 coupons in order to collect all 3. Now if you were observant, you may have caught a nice little formula that will make this very easy. All you'll need to do is add in the reciprocals of the probabilities of getting a new coupon for each stage. So the easy way to write the formula is now to set the three stages, put a 3 in each of the numerators, and now start with 3 in the first denominator and count backwards towards 1. So we know that Core 2019 has 16 Mythic Rares in the set, so let's see how long it'll take us to get all of them. What we're going to do is break this into 16 stages, one for each Mythic, and see what the number of Mythics we will need to get in order to get them all. Just like our coupon problem, all we need to do is put 16 in all the numerators and count backwards in the denominators. This is because the probability of getting a new mythic starts at 100% or 16 over 16, then moves to 15 over 16, then 14 over 16, and so on to 1 out of 16. So we will now add all the stages together and get a number of 54.0917 mythics in order to collect all 16. So we will be getting a lot of duplicates. And since we know that 1 in every 8 packs will have a mythic in it, all we need to do is multiply this by 8 and see that it will take 432.733 packs on average to collect all the mythics. Now that is a lot of packs, but we are forgetting one thing. What about foils? We do have a chance for one of our commons to be replaced by a foil. From what I was able to find, it is known that every 1 in 6 packs will have a foil in it. It is speculated that 1 in 8 of these foils will be a rare, and also that 1 in 8 of those rares will be a mythic instead. So every time you open a pack, you have a 1 in 216 chance of getting a mythic foil. That is less than half a percent. But it does change our chance of getting a mythic a tiny amount. We will go from a 12.5% chance of getting a mythic to a 12.96 chance of getting a mythic. Since we know that it takes about 54 mythics to get all 16, we will now see how many packs it will take to get all those mythics plugging 54.0917 for our expected value and 12.96% for our probability, we now get 417.374 packs to get all mythics. Such a small percentage change, but that is 15 less packs that we now have to buy. Now we have to test it to make sure that we will get the other rarities as well, and we will do so by checking with our rares. Since we get 10 commons each pack and 3 uncommons, we could safely assume that we will get all of them, but we need to get 53 rares. That's quite a lot. 
So now going back to our formula and using 53 instead of 16, we get 241.516 rares to collect all 53. That is a lot more duplicates than the Mythics. Since each pack has a 7 eighths chance of having a rare in it, not accounting foils for simplistic sake, we plug these numbers into the expected value problem and get 276 packs. This shows that it is highly likely, almost definite, that we will get all rares before the Mythics. So now for the big question. How much will this cost us? Well, since we can't buy partial packs, we will need to buy on average 418 packs. Now, keep in mind, this is on average. If you're lucky, you can do it in less packs, or more if you're unlucky. There are multiple ways to buy packs, too. You can just go to your local card shop and buy the packs alone, but that will cost you 3 to $4 per pack. That would be between $1,200 and $1,600. But you can also buy the packs in bulk online. You can buy boxes which contain 36 packs for $90, putting it at $250 per pack or $1,045 for all the packs we need. But you can also buy cases which contain 6 boxes, but the price on those do vary. I've seen it between $500 and $535, so we will go with an average of $520. This will put us at roughly $2.45 per pack or $1,025 total. This is also assuming that we're able to sell the extra packs that we get in the case. So there you have it, everybody. Just over $1,000 and 418 packs in order to get every single card in Core 2019. And that is not even a play set, but that will be for another video. If you want me to figure out how many packs it would take to get a play set, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give me some feedback as well so I can make the channel better. Also, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I enjoy making these videos and hope to put stuff out like this more often. I have some ideas for future videos, but don't be shy to make some requests. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you next time.